Hello and welcome to Supervisor Tips and Tricks. This is the second video in our series on tips for importing block models. This video focuses specifically on using block models for model validation. If you missed the first one, you can find it in our YouTube video library. Tip number one is to make sure that the bulk density field is mapped to density. Now although this is not required, if no density field is loaded, then the validations will be volume weighted rather than tonnage weighted. The other thing to be careful of is that every record has to have a density value, it can't be absent. If you do have absent data, then you can assign a default value by selecting default from the no value property column and then entering the default value in the column next to it. Our next tip is to check that the domain field names and the domain codes in the sample and model files are an exact match. With regards to your grade fields, note that your block model can be different than your sample file. In this example, we have two grade fields in the model file. One has been estimated using ordinary Krieging and has been labelled AU underscore OK, and the other has been estimated using MIK methods and is labelled MIK AU. Tip number three is that you may find it useful to load additional domain fields such as the classification field or the field that stored the search volume used in the estimate. These fields can be used as filters when generating your grade trend plots. For example, an inferred classification will be applied to areas which have less drilling data. This of course has a direct impact on the degree of correlation between estimated and naive grades. By loading the classification field, you can quickly and easily filter out this data. Our final tip only applies if you are using an older version of the software, that is any version prior to 8.8. .8. When generating grade trend plots using merged domains, the order in which the domain values are listed in both the sample and model filter and data window must match exactly. If they don't, you'll get an error message. Now if you're experiencing this issue and have a current subscription, you can upgrade any time at no cost. Thank you for watching. Please let us know if you found this video useful by clicking like. For more information or to make suggestions for other tips and tricks videos, click on the link in the description below.